Hi guys, I know it's a bit dark for this performance, but that is actually necessary, as you will find out momentarily. I would have a spectator select a card, so let's just say that they go for this one. And we're going to put it face down underneath the flashlight, just like that. They can take out another card too. This is just to demonstrate a property of the flashlight uh, in that you can actually see the light through the card because it's just a single uh, LED. And that single LED actually allows us to get a really small pinhole in the card if we get it just right. And if you watch the pinhole, something crazy can actually begin to happen as the light itself begins to dance around on the card. Notice the card's not moving, my hand with the light is not moving, but rather the light itself on the card. Oh, oh wait, that looks like it may be an H. You can see the light moving underneath the H. It really is the light, the beam of light. And it continues. Okay, this looks like an 8 to me. Can you see how it looks like an 8? Again, it really is the beam of light. So I would say that with an 8 and an H, give me just a moment. With an 8 and an H, I would think that your card is the 8 of hearts. Let's take a look. Yes, indeed, the 8 of hearts. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, you can examine the, the playing card. You can examine the light. You can examine the 9 of spades. And of course, you can examine every card in the deck. There's no gimmicks to be found anywhere. So that is a bare bones performance of Starlight by Paul Harris. Hi guys, so that was a bare bones performance of Starlight. And I said it was by Paul Harris, but it's Paul Harris Presents. It's actually by Chris Perota. Chris Perota. This is what it looks like, Starlight. This is a really, really great gimmick. I wanted to review this as one of my first reviews here on the channel because I gave this my mark as the best trick of 2016. I thought this was really, really fantastic. It was that good. The thing I like the most about this is the originality. Um, it's very rare that you come across a trick in the magic world that is totally brand new. It opens up a brand new genre of magic. Um, it's not an appearance. It's not a disappearance. It's not a transposition. It's it's its own thing. It's starlight. It's 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 manipulating light. Um, with that being said, I think this would be something great if you're actually an element manipulator. I know that's kind of a very niche market that I'm speaking to there, but there are some people that manipulate the elements as their power. This might be a really interesting demonstration of that to show how you can manipulate light. Now, you'd have to come up with why you're using cards in that demonstration, but that's for you to come up with and not me because I'm not an element manipulator. As for the build of this gimmick, it is very, very durable. It will last a lifetime if you treat it fairly, if you treat it kindly. It's a little bit thicker than a card, so that uh, is a disadvantage when it's in the deck because it takes up about three cards thickness, I would say. But it's an advantage because the card is more sturdy because of that. It's actually a thicker cardboard than a normal playing card. The mechanic itself is genius. It's It blows my mind. Whenever I first saw it, I would, my mind was just blown. I'm like, are you kidding me? Who who came up with this? And it was it was Chris. It was Chris Peroda. Sorry, Chris. Um, he really is a genius for coming up with this. The mechanics, the way it works, is brilliant. It's a very, very little movement to create a very, very large movement on the card, which is fantastic. That's the kind of thing you want. You know, if, if it were a lot of finger movement going on while this thing's barely moving, that's a bad thing. But a little bitty, tiny bit of movement that creates this huge, beautiful movement on the card, which sort of paints a picture and tells a story. That's something else that's really cool about this, is it, it does kind of tell a story. Um, I have performed it both with a playing card revelation and a, an initial revelation because I'm sure, as you all know, the Starlight um, package comes with two sets of alphabets so that you can have any initials that you want. It could be two A's, two K's, or different initials, obviously. And I did this with my girlfriend, and I tried to make it a really special moment with my girlfriend and her initials coming up on the card, and it was it was really cool. It was a really intimate moment. Um, of course, they use it with a flashlight on your cell phone, and that's how I would usually use it too. However, I was using my uh, phone to film, so I just found the flashlight in my dorm room, and I was like, yeah, I'll just film a performance with this. But I actually do like using the cell phone light. I think that's a very organic way to have that light with you. And I also like what Bro does in the demonstration on YouTube where he has them touch the phone and he touches them. What I have found with that that's kind of fun to play with is when you hold them, so I'm holding their hand, they're touching the phone, and I'm holding the card. The light moves, and then I let go, and the light stops moving. And that's whenever I say, go ahead and wave your hand under the card to show that it really is just light. And then I grab hold again, and when I grab hold again, the light starts moving again, and then I break free again, and I show the eight, and then I grab hold again, and it goes away, and I ask them to blow, and they blow the light out. So just kind of a little detail, which is really cool, and creates an interesting moment as you let go, the light stops. It's like, what's going on here? Are we really creating this connection? So it's just something fun to play with. 
Um, other than that, what can I say about it? The instructions are phenomenal. Bro Gilbert does a great job with the instructions, as he always does. Very, very detailed, very easy to understand without being condescendingly easy. I don't like magic instructions that are like, okay, now to do a double lift, you pick up two cards. I don't like that, right? We. The point is, we're probably good enough magicians to do a double lift by this point. So Bro does a very good job of that, teaching you what you need to know without teaching you more than you need to know because you already know it. So that's a really good thing. Um, what else can I say about it? Honestly, it's built like a horse. It's going to last a lifetime. It's genius. The, me the mechanics are brilliant and they're going to last forever. I don't see how the mechanics could ever break. I mean, you would have to be really crazy to break the mechanics. It's not elastic. So that's a plus. Like I was kind of thinking it was elastic. It's not. That's a good thing. Oh, I know what else I wanted to say. Um, the cleanup for the gimmick, which of course you saw in my demo and you can see in other demos online. The cleanup is genius. It really is. It helps take care of the problem of, okay, I have this big hunkin' gimmick in my deck, and then I really can't palm it out, because if I try to palm out this gimmick, it's going to bend the gimmick, and then my gimmick's not usable. So they did think about that, and I appreciate when people think about how you're going to get in and out of an effect. Um, it is a little bit difficult to get into. This would kind of have to be the start of your set, but the cleanup takes care of itself, so you do get a very nice cleanup out of it. The bad thing about the cleanup is <clears throat> the box is left dirty. I don't think that's a shock to say that. I think I'm allowed to say that. The box is left dirty, so you kind of want to ditch the box in your pocket, and then from there you could ditch the gimmick. So that's kind of the fuzzy bit of it. You can immediately remove the gimmick from the deck, but then the gimmick is still in play. You would have to put the box in your pocket in order to actually get rid of the gimmick. But other than that, this is really a fantastic release. I think it's one of the most magical effects I've ever seen. When I saw it demonstrated online, it just I was like, this is so magical. It created a a feeling inside of me and I like magic that creates a feeling inside so I had to have it I was very glad that I got it I performed it I love it and I wanted to let this be one of the first reviews I make because I think it deserves it and I think it's kind of gone under the radar I mean I know people have heard about it and have seen it but I don't know I don't think it got the attention that it quite deserves but there's my review of Starlight from Chris Perota by Paul Harris Presents. So there you go. I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy the videos to come. See you later.